I'm inside Google Cloud. First thing I'm gonna do is create a new project for our AI assistant. I'm gonna name it Soidberg AI Assistant. Our assistant is gonna be called Soidberg. We usually call our internal automations at Evers that way. I don't exactly know why, but uh, we started playing with it and it in stock so i'm gonna name it that way uh so my organization is gonna be evers yours is gonna be whatever organization you're in in google cloud so i'm gonna create the project uh, it's gonna start processing right here I'm gonna wait for it okay it's done now we're gonna select it and right now on the top left i should see the project that i just created uh, so now for our backend, we're going to use a cloud function, like I said, and here we're going to go to create function and it's going to ask us to enable some required APIs in Google cloud, uh, to be able to use cloud functions. So I'm going to click enable. We're going to wait for it to finish. We're going to create all the code in the cloud functions UI just to make things simpler. But in the GitHub repo, I'm going to share with you the code to run it as a local repo and also with the CI CD functions uh, in GitHub Actions to deploy this automatically through BS code once you make a push to the main branch. But we're gonna we're not gonna cover that in the tutorials just to keep things simple. But if you're interested in that uh, kind of thing, uh, I'm going to share the code with you to using GitHub Actions. So going back to our cloud function, we see that everything is enabled now. So I'm going to go ahead and name my function. So I'm going to call it Soidberg Backend. I'm going to choose US Central as my region here and trigger type should be HTTPS. Um, this means we're going to be able to make uh, API calls to this function to trigger it. Um, I'm going to check this because we are creating a public API. We're going to handle authentication in the code. So don't worry about this for now. And we're going to need some variables here, but we're going to add them afterwards so that you can see the process. I'm gonna click next, enable some missing APIs here. We're gonna have to enable more stuff later. So don't worry too much about that. All right, now we have our cloud function with a hello world inside. So if we call our function, it will run basically this function right here and it's just gonna send uh, a hello world response. So we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna start building our backend code.